everyone and welcome to today's video all about our African Pygmy Goats adaptations. So African Pygmy Goats actually have quite a few adaptations. Let's firstly talk about the one that most people think of which is the Pangos, you're licking my arm. <laughs> Let's think about, um, let's firstly talk about the one that most people think of, which is their really, really incredible feet. African pygmy goats have got two toes. They are an even toed ungulate, which means that they have got hooves. The word ungulate literally means a hoofed mammal. So they've got two hooves, um, one on either side of their foot, and they use these two toes in to help them balance. So this is where you may have seen pictures of goats um, on sides of mountains, really precariously balanced uh, with ease. And this is because of their feet. Now their toes have got a hard outer wall and then inside it's like a very hard jelly. We actually trim their hooves to make sure that they stay nice and healthy. If we didn't trim their hooves, they would start to overgrow and they'd um, end up with walking problems and it would be quite painful for them. So we trim their hooves and we literally use something that looks a little bit like um, secateurs to trim the outer hard shell. And then we use a knife to pare back the jelly bits to make sure their feet are nice and um, level. Now we have to do this more in winter because the goats aren't um, on such hard surfaces. Obviously it's more for us rainy in winter, which means that they're not wearing their feet down as much. When um, it's spring and summer and the, the ground's a little bit harder, they wear down their feet a lot more. Hi Bangles, please don't knock it over. There we go, good girl. Um, so we do actually trim their hooves. So that's the most common adaptation that people think of. It helps them to um, get away from predators. It helps them to also get to slightly higher food if they need to, which other animals might not be able to get to. So it's a great adaptation to have. Another thing goats are known for is the shape of their pupils because they have rectangular pupils. This helps them to see further behind them. So if a predator was to come up behind them, they would see it a little bit quicker than an animal that had round pupils that were facing forwards. So it means that their line of vision is in front as ours is, but it also goes further back than ours does, which helps to keep them safe when they are grazing or when they're sitting and ruminating. Now, as we discussed yesterday, they are ruminants. They have got four stomachs and this helps them to eat a much harsher um, forms of vegetation that other animals wouldn't be able to eat. So obviously in their diet, they eat a lot of grass. They eat um, a lot of shrubs, anything that they can possibly find. They even eat brambles and stuff in the UK when they're out grazing. So they can um, digest very difficult plant matter that some animals might not be able to digest, which also helps them to survive in Africa where they come from. Is that nice? Yeah. They do have horns, as you can see. Now, Bangles, her horns, um, their horns continuously grow. Um, her horns are quite a nice size at the moment. The boys, their dad had a very, very big horns. So his horns were so big that he could scratch his bum by just doing this with his head. So he had massive horns, but he wasn't an, a West African pygmy goat. He was a different breed. So the boys may get slightly bigger horns. Typical African pygmy goats would have horns the same size as Bangles. So she's beautifully demonstrating whilst having a little bit of a scratch. As you can see, Paul is not very happy about the fact that he's not getting attention and Bangles is. So now he's got to have attention too. <laughs> My love. Yeah. Their mouths are also very peculiar. They have teeth on the bottom of their jaw, but they don't have teeth at the top. They actually just have like a fleshy pad. They only use teeth to uh, pick the grass or pick the browse that they're looking for. And as we mentioned yesterday, they only have this food in their mouth um, when initially picking it to literally just chew it enough to swallow the food. So they don't really need the front teeth because they just literally need to be able to pick the food and that's it. They do have molars, they have big teeth at the back um, for chewing as we do, which obviously they use when they chew the cut, but they don't really have a need for um, a set of front teeth, one at the top and one at the bottom. They only use the ones on the bottom. So that is another adaptation that they have. So I hope you have enjoyed this video learning about the goat's adaptations. Tune in tomorrow to see some of the enrichment and see what they've been getting up to when they've been going to have a look around the school. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!